Hi, welcome to Get Simplifies. I'm Vanessa Hayes. Okay, I'm really excited today because I'm going to show you how to use a label maker and different ways that you can label your containers. I'm also going to share with you some really cool tips on how to label some of those trickier containers like turntables, wicker baskets, and some of those canvas baskets that are a little bit tough to, to label. So, let me step around and show you each one of these containers. Okay, so in no particular order here, or rhyme or reason, I'm going to show you these different bins that you see here on my island table that I have in the kitchen. I pulled all these different containers from around my house because I wanted to show you how I labeled and why, and I hope to give you some inspiration and some ideas. Now, first things first. The first thing I recommend is to get a label maker. Now I use the Brother P-Touch. I've been very happy with this. This is an older model. Um, they have, you know, obviously some current ones. Uh, you just need a basic one and I prefer one that has the keyboard setting, um, like a QWERTY keyboard, instead of in alphabetical order because it's really hard if you're used to keyboarding um, and then to use a label maker that is just in alphabetical order. It's hard to type. Um, but the Brother P-Touch is great. It has a lot of functions, different fonts. Um, you can use different size label tape and things like like that so uh, you can get it at Costco and of course online Amazon or at any of the office stores like uh, Office Depot, Office Max, Staples, things like that. Okay so label makers are great uh, but before you use a label maker there's one key thing I want to tell you is to make sure you wash your hands <laughs> because when you go to peel off the labels you don't want your fingerprints on the back of it because you're going to lose the stickiness and the adhesiveness of the label so just one little key tip there. Okay so just going to show you bin by bin, container by container, how I label. The first one here is just my little bread box that I have in my pantry. Now I just wanted to show you that I labeled this, but I wanted to show you that it has a really unique way of labeling here. This is kind of in an outline format with the lettering, so that's kind of cool. Um, and it's a rather, this is a large size too. So um, all the label tape that I have here is, I believe, half inch label tape, and they come in different sizes. Um, I think they come in like quarter inch, half inch, and even three quarter inch. Um, sizes for the labels. So, anyway, now here's one of those unique bins that are very hard to organize, or excuse me, to label. It's a straw bin, and so of course the label is not going to stick onto this. But there's some cute ways that you can decorate it and still use your label tape on there. As you can see here, this one is just a little keychain tab that you can use. You can this one you probably would have to handwrite on there, um, but you can make it decorative by adding a little bow. Um, you can also thread some ribbon through most wicker baskets. Um, and then attach a gift tag to it and either handwrite or print out a label tape on here. And this is a really cool idea too, is just to use that gift tag but to attach it to your bin with a clothespin. Now this is very basic, very kind of, I guess, bland colors or whatnot, but you can get different types of gift tags that are more colorful. Um, I'm sure you can find cuter, colorful uh, clothespins, but I use what I had around because I'm all about using what you have at home first. So, and of course, like I said, you can decorate it with a little bit of ribbon. Um, you can see that I used the same thing, the same technique here with the clothespin on this canvas lidded bin. And it looks really nice. That goes in my master bedroom on the top shelf. Now here's a bin that I have that goes in one of our cubbies that my husband made. Now, um, this bin I got at the, this little box here, I got at Hobby Lobby, and it didn't have this on here, so I attached this handle to make it easy for me to slide it out of the cubby. But what I didn't want is I didn't want to use a white label because I wanted to keep this kind of subdued. So this is a smaller print, um, a smaller font, and it's on a clear label tape. So just kind of a little bit more subdued and kind of blends in nice. And then this container here, I actually got out of one of my uh, bathroom drawers. And the reason why I wanted to show you this is because I had to label it on the inside because this is inside of a drawer. And when I open the drawer, you know, if I were to label it anywhere else, I wouldn't be able to see the label. Or this is too thin right here. It's, I wouldn't have been able to see the label on the outside. So I put it to where I'm going to see it visually. And so I have a couple of bins just like this in one drawer. And so when I open up the drawer, I can see the label here and then on the next item. So just a little tip there. And then here, I wanted to show you a turntable. Now turntables are unique because they're round, but one way to label them is to label them with at least two labels or four, if you want to get really fancy, I suppose, because then what you can do is that anywhere, anytime that you turn it, no matter how far you turn it, chances are you're going to see the label at some point. So I recommend with turntables to put four labels on them so that they're across from each other. 
might be a little bit overkill, but if you're trying to get organized, that's just one of our little tips. Okay, now I wanted to show you this one too. This is my acrylic shoe box that I use in one of my bathroom cabinets. And I just wanted to show you how I use three different labels on one container because there's three different types of items in this container. So instead of doing one all the way across with listing all the items, I just did a separate label for each item and then I just stacked them just underneath one another. Now this is a metal bin that I have in my pantry and what's cool about this one is that it's the white label but also I was able to do like a little outline around the label just to make it a little bit more decorative I suppose. Now I wanted to show you something else. What I used to do with this bin when I had a black and white theme in my kitchen, I actually used to use chalk to label the bin because I put some chalkboard paint on here and then I would just update whenever I changed out items in here then I could just erase it and then update with chalk the items that are inside. So just another cute decorative way to label a bin. Now you probably all have seen different cereal boxes and containers for the pantry um, and usually they're kind of long and thin like this and so I wanted to point out a unique feature of, the, of labeling is that you can do a vertical format as well. So instead of having a label go across, you could put this in a vertical format, which is nice for containers like this, but it's awesome for like binders for kids' school books, textbooks, binders, and things like that. So now, oh, another cool feature on this I wanted to show you. Is that I also have this really neat little clear sleeve that has a little sticky backing but you can take it off and reuse it. What's nice about this is that you know when I use these containers um, to put some of my bulk items in I still want to have the nutrition facts um, so sometimes I just throw it in with dry goods um, but when I found these sleeves it was great because I could cut out the nutritional information and then put it back in there so I have access to it so you know, because if you're throwing that box away, you know, you're going to lose all that information. But if you're counting calories or you just want to know the nutritional facts, you can still have that in the back. Now, those labels I got at the container store, and they come in a couple different sizes. You can see this thicker one here and a little bit thinner. Um, what's really nice about these two is that you can use them to take inventory. So this would be great for like supply containers that you have in the garage and whatnot. Or if you change items out, you can use it to keep inventory. Okay, now this container here, um, I've actually featured this multi-purpose bin in a couple different videos. And the only thing I wanted to show you here is how I labeled it at the top. Um, and this is a sample of where I did everything on one line. So you can do that. I showed you earlier how you can do like stack different labels one on top of the other. Or you can do it all in one line if you've got the space for it. And the last bit I'm going to show you is this canvas cubby bin. My daughter has this cubby in her bedroom that has six different cubbies in it. And, um, but it's, of course, it's made of that canvas material, so the label tape isn't going to stick to it. So what I decided to do was, like the first bins that I showed you with the gift tags on there, I put a gift tag on here. But the problem was is that since this fits inside of a cubby, I wasn't able to attach the clothespin on top. So what I did instead is I used this um, like double sticky Velcro tape and I cut little strips and put it on the back so I was able to attach it that way. And again, put a cute little bow on there. Now, what you can also do with these cubbies is that Target sells these really cool little, I guess they're called bin clips. And um, so here's a package. I want to show you a sample of that. So it's by Ari, which is Room Essentials. Um, you can find that in their uh, container aisle. And um, so what's really neat is that you can attach it either to the handle here or you can easily attach it to the top of the bin. You see that's just a little clip there. You can just attach it right on top. So that's another neat way to, to label those cubbies. So there you have it. There's just a few ways of how you can use your label maker and different ways that you can label bins and some of those trickier things to label like the turntail and of course those wicker, straw, and canvas bins. So I hope those tips have been helpful for you. For more tips on how to simplify and organize your life, visit us at GetSimplifies.com. Thanks.